Hello, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and this is Desmond Stonders. Ochindoon Castle, our chosen spot for this week's Desmond Stonders destination. We're at Ockendoon Castle. We'll see the castle later, but for now, we're sheltering in and out of the rain. Hopefully it'll stop and we can get a walk the short distance to see the castle. At the moment it's birding and trees. And there are plenty of trees surrounding the car park. As you'll see as we swing round, the car park itself is only small, but you can easily get six cars in there, even with a motorhome taking up the corner. I wouldn't uh, say there was room for more than one or two, because the car park is fairly busy with cars coming, parking up and walking down to the castle on a regular basis. It's a lovely spot and the walk to the castle, well worth it. Car park there, you can just see the corner of Desmond, and you can see that it has been awfully wet, but now some blue skies. Small car park. And at the moment, a muddy one. But it's a lovely spot. This blackbird took me ages to see what it was. Because it was covered in water at one point before it shook the water off from the rain. Looking bedraggled and uh, not enjoying it. But the rain stopped and we were able to get out and explore. Let's get airborne and get to the castle. As you can see, it has been wet and wet for some time, as this field which is used for storage is in one hell of a condition. But we're not here to see the farmer's field, we're here to see the castle. And I'll be along in a little while with some history.
A short walk along a track and over fields to the ruins of this impressive castle with a bloody past. The lonely ruin and surrounding earthworks of a 1400 stronghold, Ockendune Castle may have been built by Thomas Cochrane, a favourite of King James III. Ockendoon was sold to Sir Adam Gordon in 1567. Gordon's claim to fame was the murder of all the occupants of Corgarth Castle during a feud in 1571. Ockendoon Castle was burnt by William Mackintosh in revenge and by 1725 the castle lay derelict. The ruined castle stands alone in a spectacular setting amid a landscape mostly devoid of settlement. Its lonely, romantic location make it more than worth the walk. One of the brown hares that visit us over the weekend. Unfortunately the one time that they showed without the wire in place my camera was out of reach. But this is the best we could do to see the hares. It might not be mad, it might not be March, but at least we're seeing them. I came down here because the sun was shining but it's just disappeared 
behind a bank of cloud. But uh, we'll have a look at the valley and have a look at the road in which you have to navigate to get up this hill. There's one or two birds shouting. Not been as good this week as previous weeks uh, out and about, but still been good to see them. No, that's not the road, that's the farm and that's the field. But down there, this is the road you need to come up to get to Ockendoon Castle. And a couple of young roe deer running up and down the track to the farm. And now we find the real reason that the fort and castle were built on this site. It was nothing to do with the easily defensible position, the water supply and ready food stream. No, it was these glorious sunsets. We missed the full effect, but did manage some shooting.
It was my first attempt at sunset shooting, but I enjoyed it and I'm going to try it again. Meanwhile, a blooper. Yes, I can be forgiven though, I think, because the castle does get a mention and we hope to be there next week. We're at Korgarth. No, we're not. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully We'll see you next time.